hello beautiful people it's good to have you here once again welcome to my channel thanks so much for the support so far i really appreciate i saw the support and i really appreciate um so just right before we get into making it please you know what to do already just click that subscribe button like this video share this video and drop your comments right in the comment section all right So I'll be drawing out the pattern on this paper to start with. Um, so I would go over and draw my width of um, nine inches. Okay, starting from here. So here's nine here. Mark it out. Nine inches. Got nine here. Then I'll be drawing out a length of uh, three inches. Hope you get it. Okay. Let me put my tape through here. Three inches all through, and it would meet at this um, nine inches here. <clears throat> so I have my three inches. Then I'll just draw the straight line. Hope I can use this. Draw the line just like so. Okay, I think I'm getting it. Yes, I have my line here, and I'll draw out another line here. Ooh. Okay, oh, it's a badly drawn line, but we can still work with that. Um, so for this side i'll be going up by half an inch or one inch depending on how long um, you want the edge of the collar to be half an inch here and i'll join it with this line here at point zero so i'll join it like so oh these lines are badly drawn but I hope you just get what I'm trying to achieve. So I joined it here by half an inch. Then at this lower point here, I'll come in by half an inch as well. So here is half an inch. Yeah, and I would join it from this point here down to this point. Just like so. Okay, I think this line will be better off than the previous one I drew yeah so this is basically it and I'll just go ahead to cut it out cut it out like so okay forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share as well thank you okay it is better to cut from this single okay so here's what we have here um this will be the center this is where I'll be putting on fold so I'll mark it here and this will just be the edge of it. So I'll go over to my fabric and I'll cut out the same pattern on my fabric. So here's my fabric, just the right side. I will be folding the right side in just like so. Okay. So here's the right side, folded it. Then I'll just place this on it like so. So remember this part, this point I marked is going to be on fold. So here's the folded part, as we can see. Okay, here's the folded part. So it's going to be at the extreme end of this. 
just like so so um i'll be marking out half an inch by this other side for my sewing allowance and i'll cut it out so here is me marking out here's my tip Okay, so we have half an inch here. Let me come here. Oh my gosh! Oh, okay. I think I should pin this down so it doesn't shift. Just when I'm about to finish marking it. Okay. Yeah, it's better off like this. So not to make it shift. So just go over and mark out half inch oh, the phone is shaking. Okay. That's my mark here. So I'll just connect them together. I hope my free hand is good enough, yeah. I think it's it's fair. So to this side as well, we have in my half inch and half inch. I'll just connect it together like so. Okay, and put my half inch here. And I'll just add as well. To the half inch all through right to the end of it right to the end of it okay so i'm done marking out and i'll just cut it like so no, to make use of this okay um, so this is just one of it. I'll be cutting out two pieces for this so um I can turn it with the fabric as well. I don't have to turn it with another fabric. So I'll be cutting out two pieces of this. So let me just finish cutting this first. Just like so. Okay. It's finely cut with I'll sew in another one slipped out and then um, go back to my fabric, fold another piece. Oh, let me just come here. Okay, I'll fold another piece and cut out the same exact measurement for it. Just like so. Okay, still need more. Yeah, right on it. Okay, this is properly placed. So, let me see this. Okay. Put it like so. So right now I have two pieces. This is one piece and this is the second piece, both same measurement. Um so oh my god, okay. Let me just quickly mark out the wrong side. You know the prints are really bold on both sides of the fabric, so it's a bit hard to know which is the right and wrong. So I will just mark it out here. This is my wrong side. And I'll mark this as well as my wrong side and I'll just open it like so okay it's big enough now and I'll place this on it the right side facing each other and I'll go over and sew it through here by half an inch so here is my bodies I'll be attaching 
um, the color so it's already cut out my bodies as we can see this is um, the center front um, so I just want to show you how I'll cut the neckline that will fit into the collar so um, I'll come here and draw out um, okay can make it three inches yes towards the um, towards the shoulder slope yeah three inches from the center here then I would come here and mark out okay I already have like one inch sewing allowance here so I won't start from the one inch I'll come down here and um, measure I want two and a half for the neck curve okay and I'll go over to cut um, where I really wanted to stop for the front so I'll be doing um seven inches my upper bust is um seven and a half seven and a half so um, I'll just measure seven inches so by the time I sew it it would stop at um seven and a half and I won't be exposing so much bust so having marked it out I would come here this line I drew here the neckline oh this thing is turning again okay the neckline and I'll join it I made a curve I hope we saw that yes I'll join it by here I made a curve you can see the perfect curve oh I like it so much so perfect and then I would measure out um half an inch here like so and um, I would join it at this point, it's almost at point zero. So I'll just do a free sketch for that. It will join. Don't here. forget to like this video, um, click the so notification bell, that. subscribe to my okay. channel, and so leave a I comment if you have right any or any questions. Look down you. here. Then at this point, where I measured two and a half, I um, measured half an inch inward. And then I joined it at zero point here. So this is basically the neckline. So I'll just go over to cut it like so. Just like so. Okay. Yeah. I got that let me just open it up so um, let's see what it looks like when it's opened okay so this is it hope we got that well yeah so here's the neckline and the other one coming right in um so i'll go over to the back piece as well I'll be cutting out the neckline for the back piece that will fit into the collar. So here's my back piece. Ignore this mark. I just made it to show the wrong side of um, the fabric. Um, so for the back piece, I already cut it into two for my um, sewing allowance and my zipper. So, um, so I don't make a mistake. I'll just mark out that one inch I left out. And... Um, I'll start here to measure the neckline. So for the other one towards the shoulder slope, I measured three inches, right? So here's my three inches here. So here's my three inches here. Like so. Then um okay, there is already a one inch here as well for my sewing allowance. So I'll just mark out the one inch and I'll come over to measure what I want. So for this one, for the back, I don't need it to go in so much. It's supposed to really stay close to um, the bones, like the collar bones. So it's not going in whatsoever. So it's just one inch. I'll be measuring for the back neckline. One inch and I'll go over to connect it like so. With my free hand, if you, um, if you are used to, or if you are better about using the curve, you can use that to mark out the couple. It's um pretty easier for me to use uh, to do a freehand. So I'll just go over to cut it like so. That's it. So 
so here's my back piece I have the this is the lining I already cut it out and this is my main fabric I place the main fabric on the lining and I cut it out um, so the next thing I'll be doing is uh, on my fabric this is the wrong side I want to remove the second piece now so on the wrong side just like so I'll place um, my lining I hope you can see it just like so and this is um this is the second piece for the back and this is the wrong side as well i'll place the lining on the wrong side of the fabric on the wrong side of the fabric so i hope you get it now so i'll hold it down with a pin yeah just like so and okay let me separate it here's the um back piece i've already placed the fabric on it and here's the second back piece i've played the line place the line on it over so i'll hold it down with a pin and here's the back piece i've held it down with a pin as you can see the lining and the fabric together with a pin so i'll do the same for the front piece so here's my front piece the center front it's unfold that's why it looks so small like this yeah it's unfold and here's the lining i cut as well so you remember i measured them um, half an inch from this edge and cut it down here straight but i didn't do same for the lining um this lining it's uh, very light and it sheds a lot so if i try to cut it out it might just extend beyond what I want so um, I would place the lining on the fabric um, so here is my center front I opened it up so you can see the neck and um, the other neckline and here's the lining here's the lining so we can see on the lining this side is still closed um, I think I mentioned why um, I did not cut it so it doesn't shed off immediately you can see even the side I cut is already shedding off and um, so unlike uh, what I did for the back piece for the front piece I'll be opening the right side okay we can see here is marked so here's the wrong side so I'll go over here's the right side I'll place the um, lining on it like so I'll place the lining on the right side of the front piece. Please don't forget that. For the back piece, I place the lining on the wrong side. For the front piece, I place the lining on the right side. Um, so I'll hold it down with a pin. Yeah, hold it down with a pin just like so. So I've placed it on each other. Here's the lining and right here is our fabric. So this is the wrong side you can see um the part i didn't cut out on the lining is still showing um so what we'll do next is to sew these by half an inch so we'll be sewing this neckline by half an inch just from those points right down here to this point we will ignore these other sides we don't need to sew it so we are sewing right from here down okay, let me just I'll mark it down with a chalk so i marked it with a chalk already the place will be sewing so i'll make sure it be going just from here right to this point that's all and once we're done sewing it we'll just trim off these excesses and um Want you to well, trim up all the excesses. So here is our collar. Already placed them wrong sides facing each other. So here's my wrong side. Yes, the wrong side. So it's a two piece, and I'll just sew it all around. Um, so the um fabric is um thick already and I have two of it I'm laying on each other so I won't be putting any interface into taking the neck I'll just leave it as it is so I'll go over to my neck and sew it by half an inch 
Okay, just like so. So, give it the straight sewing like that. Okay, so when I get here, I just turn it to this point. Please remember, is the um, bigger size I sold where I went out to buy half an inch you just know the bigger side column if you follow the right measurement you can see here is bigger than this so it's just point out so that and now okay remember this neckline so I'm going to sew it right away okay So that's it. I need to cut it off. Okay, so I have this very sharp end. Cut it off. I'll trim off all the excesses by all the sides, like so. And this especially. And this other side too. So you can see it's well trimmed. here trim this as well like so so for the neck you can see hope you can see the stitch line so I'll just um, hold it and trim it up as well starting by this so it would bend properly when I want to bend it you can see this I'll notch it here to do little notching okay yes yeah, so basically just notching everything Okay, here we have it. Just remove all those pins. So I haven't sewed it together. I'll just then um, go over to turn it properly. I'll turn it like so. So 
so okay this is it so I've turned it and um, I still have my neck here that I've not sewed Um, so I haven't notched it, I'll just turn the collar to the right side. So I'll choose this to so make sure this edge comes out pretty well. I need to tuck it out properly so it comes out very sharp, you know. You need it sharp. Okay, and that's that's for here. So we have it now. We're ready to go over to the next stage. So I'm true turning it. You can see this side, <coughs> and here is not yet sewed, and for the next, so it's not sewed as well. So here it is. The next thing I'll do is um this my back piece, the right side, along with the lining. I'll place it just by the neckline of this just by the neckline of the front and i'll sew it by um the allowance i left out that's one inch and for the second piece as well here it is i'll put it right on the front piece and i'll sew it by half an inch as well so i'm done joining it by the neckline you can see and i trim this down let me bring the camera closer it's not still showing i trimmed it down already so i've joined both sides you can see the neck everything is coming together already and so here's my neckline um i said earlier that i um, divided the back piece into two pieces yeah because um of my zipper allowance lots of the zipper allowance i had to divide the back piece into two but i went back to join it join it from those points just about them two inches down here then my zipper will start from here the zipper cannot start from the neck because of the collar so i sewed it right from here down to here about two and a half inch or so and i left the back the rest of it opened so for the zipper and so here it is let me turn the other egg so here it is our neckline is looking so good ready we have it right here so and um here is the collar i cut out we'll be going to attach the collar to the neckline so let's get right into that we're back to our sewing machine so I'll um, just be showing you how I intend to join both of them together. Here is my collar as you can see. So both sides are the right sides. We can't choose to use any of them. Um, so what I'll be doing is um, I'll open the side. Remember we did not close up this end. The um, shorter end or the smaller end we left it open. While this other side was the bigger one. We closed it already, we sewed it together. So I would open the side and then fold it in by half an inch, just like so. Hope we can get to where. So I'll fold it in by half an inch and um I would go to the neck of my fabric or my dress. This other end that was left opened, and I would just okay, just like so. I'll tuck it in like this by half an inch i'll make sure it's in by half an inch as well and um, i'll cover it up so once i cover it up i'll hold it down with a pin okay i have to make sure both the back and the front are half inch and it's lying on the middle piece which must be half inch as well so um okay hold this by a pin then I'll go over to use other end. Hold it back inside. I'll hold it by pin as well. Hold it together. 
just like so so I'll do it like this from this particular point we can see to the end of um, the other side of my neckline but I really don't want to hold it with a pin or two so I'll just go over to sewing it and um, so for each point I sew it I'll be folding it right inside I don't know which is um, which takes more time or which is more stressful but I'll just do it like this I'm removing this pin and I'm going over to my machine to sew it together so I hope we can see what's going on in my machine okay so I'll just sew it like so okay Okay, so hope I can turn. Hope I can turn this well enough. So I'll just sew it like so. I removed this other pin. So I would always open it, fold this by half an inch, just by half an inch, tuck this in by half an inch, fold this other one. By half an inch too, and I'll place it on top of each other, and so I'll sew it through. So at each point, I'll do it again. I'll do same, fold it by half an inch like so, tuck this into it by half an inch, fold the upper part by half an inch, and place it on top of each other, and continue sewing. So um, I'll keep folding by half an inch, tuck it in. Okay, oh, I cut this part, so I just want to trim it off. I think it's better I trim it off. This was for the zipper allowance. That's so sew it back together. So I tuck it in by half an inch as well. By half an inch as well. I cover it by half an inch yes like so and I'll sew it sew it as well so basically that's what we'll do to get to the other end of the fabric fold it, fold it, fold it make sure it doesn't exceed half an inch okay So fold it here as well, tuck it in, fold it, place on top of each other, and sew it as well. So doing the same right here. Okay. Had a pin here and just removing it like so. Um, so we've got into the other end, the last end of this. I'll just fold it inside by half an inch, yeah, just like so, and then um I'll make sure I properly properly place the others inside by half an inch, and so I have it here. Um, so I think uh, my, my measurement was perfect, so there was no excesses. As we can see, they both ended together by the same edge. That's the other edge of the um, collar. So there was no excesses. So please, you really need to follow. You really need to follow my measurement exactly, so you don't have any issue with them. Um, some excesses that you really can't deal with again, or to take you far back to. Having to loosen it and sew it back and so okay. Cutting up the other edge as well. Oh, so we're basically done. We're done with our collar. I fixed it from this end right to this end. So we're done with our collar. Just that, and I'll go back to um, finishing the other parts of our dress. So, can
can see it just stands like this and if you want to fold it whichever way you want it to but in the picture it was standing so you can leave it like this it will stand and it will look so flawless and classy just like so so guys we're done with our video here is our color standing so perfect here it is yeah just like so standing so well and um let me show you the back okay so here's the neckline here's the rest of the collar you know you can fold it if you want so you can just leave it to stand and um here the side is open for my zipper so the zipper will be starting from here and going down to the other parts um of the, the lower part of the dress so here's just better angle of um our collar wish it could stand this way so here it is basically it so thank you so much guys for watching i hope you replicate this and if you do please don't forget to tag me on my social media and do so i can see what you really came up with thank you so much for watching please if you haven't just please subscribe to this channel like my video like this video as well like this video and um share the video Please, please, please let me do any of this. It will really, really help my groups on my channel. So thank you so much. Thanks for your time. See you next time. Bye. Bye. So I got it. Yeah. Here's our color. It's standing. Here's what it looks like. I have some other sewing tutorials on my um, channel just check it up I'm sure there is a lot you would see that would interest you and as well I made a tutorial on how I achieved that the draping by the waist and towards the hip so please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you'd be the first to know once I upload the next video thank you bye